The wind has dropped and we have a glorious sunny day on Bonaire. Our destination is the fisherman's hut next to Kite Beach. Starting from the Helma Hooker wreck in our last video, we head south on EEG Boulevard to Fishman's Hut, which borders Kite Beach. We will be diving a stretch of reef between Fishman's Hut and Red Barrel. The colors of aquamarine and sapphire blue waters guide us to our destination. Mangroves start to become more dense as we pass Margate Bay. We pass the entrance to Kite Beach. We pull off at the old fisherman's hut. Hey guys, welcome back. This has been a crazy month. In one month, we uh, lost one of our big underwater lights uh, because it flooded at 60 meters. We had our Atomos display overheat in the housing and we had to send that back to the, uh, to the States for repair. Uh, we also had our underwater light on the honeybee burn out. And we've had 20 mile an hour winds most of the month. So filming has been quite a challenge here. But fortunately, something wonderful happened. We had a drop in the wind. And when that happens, we get some opportunities on the island. And one of them is to dive the kite surf beach, uh, which is usually not dope most of the year because there are kite surfers here. And it also means that fishermen are not here as well because there's uh, kite surfers rolling in and out of the area. Um, but it has a positive thing that a lot of people don't realize. Um, because it's not being dove so much, uh, because it's not being fished so much, uh, the reef has a chance to rejuvenate. Uh, also, we've had some uh, cool waters coming into the area over the past year. It really hasn't been that hot. And uh, the bleaching here should be less severe. Uh, so the other thing really great about this place is it's protected by mangroves. Mangroves keep the sand and waste from running out to the reef, uh, which keeps it more vibrant. So what we're going to do this, this, uh, in this episode is we're going to dive uh, this area. Uh, we're going to be diving uh, here at Fishman's Hut, which is just below my beach. We like to enter here because um, uh, there's not as many people here and it's got a very easy sandy entrance. We're we'll also be diving uh, up at Red Barrel. So we're diving this stretch between here and Red Barrel where the kite surfers typically go. Uh, and we're also gonna go out and we're gonna inspect the, uh, the deeper plate corals, which are usually most affected by uh, climate change and warming of the ocean to see how they've, they've fared this year. On this dive, we're gonna see critically endangered hawksbill turtles. In fact, we're going to see two of them. Um, and they really don't care much about us at all. They're just going on about the business. It's fun to be around them. We're going to see some amazing parrotfish. One of the things that we, get, uh, we got during COVID is some of the locals have had to resort to uh, catching some parrotfish for food here on the island. Uh, and, uh, you know, Bonaire is largely back in business, and this area has been Protected, and we're starting to see uh, some parrotfish come back into the air, uh, which is a great sign because they're critical for preserving the reef. They take algae off the reef. Uh, they actually create the sand that you're seeing that we're standing on here. They're pretty amazing creatures. We're going to see a lot of gorgonians. Uh, this particular area has a lot of gorgonians on the site. Has a lot of beautiful sponges. Um, and we're going to see a lot more here. So it is an absolutely beautiful place to go. Again, where we enter this dive site is 
right over here. I'm right next to, just to the left of the fisherman's hut. And it's a very easy entrance. It's a sandy entrance, and you can go either direction. It's a, it's a beautiful spot. We also go in at Red Barrel, another easy spot to get into. I could describe it to you, but there's really no point. They're both easy entrances on the island. And finally, this is a big one. We passed a thousand subscribers on a diver's line. That is absolutely huge. It's a massive milestone. And we want to thank the subscribers to the channel for making that possible. It's just, it's just extraordinary that over the last couple of years, we've managed to get to that number. Uh, and so um, thank you again for coming out and supporting us. And with that, let's go dive. This is the story of two divers who left the corporate world and moved to Bonaire to live a diver's life by the sea. Many only dream about this life. Our hope is to inspire you through our experiences and stories so that you can live the dream too. This is a diver's life. The water and sky, reflection in my eye, and it's true. So true that my life, that my life is a she shy. Is a she shy. Tough job, somebody's got to do it. Let's go, guys. Dipping beneath the waves, we encounter a rare blue parrotfish. They often come in pairs. A trumpet fish shadows this beautiful reef parrotfish. A peacock flounder swims effortlessly above the sand. This lobed star coral is surrounded by hundreds of brown chromis and bicolored damselfish. A four-eyed butterfly fish comes out to inspect me. Juvenile bluehead wrasse and a bluehead wrasse. A porcupine fish. Let's see what we find at the top of the wall. Beautiful schoolmasters glide before our lights. A black margate. Yellow goatfish glide before our camera. They join smallmouth and Spanish grunts. 
Even the trumpet fish turns yellow to blend in. Sergeant Majors seemed to drop from above. A school of blue tang and doctor fish. Doctor fish have that white band on the tail and stripes on the side. A brain coral. Just beautiful. A sea rod. Yellow goatfish. A beautiful barrel sponge. An orange spotted filefish. Let's drop down and see what's on the wall. This beautiful anemone is home to a bicolored damselfish. A honeycomb cowfish hides in this gorgonian. He clearly wants no part of me. A yellowtail snapper. A green mori. I caught this creole wrasse resting at a cleaning station. A female hawksbill turtle. Fantastic. She is tagged and apparently hungry. Two lionfish. A vase sponge. Another female hawksbill. Gorgeous. A purple tube sponge. A rope sponge. Time to go deep and check out that plate coral at Red Barrel. The journey down is magical. The lighting is perfect. The plate coral starts to come into view. At 34 meters or 110 feet, the plate coral is pristine, no bleaching. We start our journey up. Tube sponges. A French angelfish. It is late afternoon and the sunlight diffuses down over the Gorgonians.
This coral marks the exit to the fisherman's hut. Time to head up to the safety stop. A school of blue runners surround me. Another amazing dive on a healthy reef. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and hit the subscribe button and the bell. It goes a long way to supporting this channel and helps you to know when new content is released. Thank you for watching.